Before getting into this video, you should make sure that you know the keywords from two-dimensional geometry in lesson G1A. If you've seen that video, you will have come across the words vertex and edge before in the context of two-dimensional geometry. We need to look at what they mean when it comes to 3D objects, but first of all, I'm going to look at the word face. A face is simply a two-dimensional shape that forms part of the boundary of a 3D object. For example, we have a cube here, and this cube is contained within six square faces. We've got a square face here on the front, we've got another one at the back, there's a square face on the top, another square face on the bottom, one on the left, and one on the right. So the six squares are the faces of this cube. They form the complete boundary of this 3D object. Once we appreciate that, it's easy to understand what vertices and edges are. We know from lesson G1A that edges form the boundaries of 2D objects. So these are edges of a face and therefore they are edges of the 3D object as well. This cube has 12 edges altogether. I'll highlight these here in green. We know from lesson G1A that a vertex is just another word for a corner. Another way of thinking about this is that vertices are precisely the places where edges meet. So we have a vertex here because we've got edges meeting at that point. We've got one, two, three edges meeting here in this particular case. This cube has got seven more vertices. Remember, vertices is simply the plural of vertex. For completeness, I'm going to highlight one face as an example. So you should now be comfortable using any of these keywords in the context of three-dimensional geometry.